Good morning, Patriots! Welcome to Rex Pines TV. I'm Rose Donna Lorenzo. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I, I pledge, pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations, passion, and perseverance. Thank you. You may now be seated. Today is Monday, April 26, 2021. Let's go to Red and see what happened today in history. Thank you, Ozdani. Today in history on April 26, 1928, a Filipino immigrant by the name of Pedro Flores opened the first yo-yo company in the United States. He was credited by making this fantastic toy popular in the U.S. The yo-yo is a toy consisting of an axle connected to two discs, a string looped around the axle. Petra started making yo-yos for the neighborhood children, but was soon able to buy machinery to mass produce it, which led to the employment of over 600 workers and production of over 300,000 yo-yos daily. Way to roll, Pedro. Now let's go to Scott for the sports highlights. Thank you, Randy. Today's sports highlights are brought to you by the Patriots. The 2021 World Short Track Speed Skating Championships were held last month in the Netherlands. This is a competitive form of ice speed skating in which skaters go up against each other in individual races as well as in relay teams. It is also one of the only sports where pushing is allowed, as team members push each other in relays to give their partners a push start to help them to start to build momentum and speed. The championship was much smaller this year as a result of many countries pulling out due to COVID, but the Netherlands emerged as champions, followed by Hungary in second place and Canada in third. Now let's go to Noah for the lunch report. Thank you, Scott. Today's lunch is barbecue pulled pork, bun, broccoli, fresh banana, and milk. Bon appetit. Now let's go to Sonia for our National Movie Week segment. Thank you, Noah. Good morning, Patriots. This week is National Princess Week. This week is here to honor our toddler fantasies. The concept of royalty isn't new and was created in early ancient Europe. Disney is likely the largest franchise when it comes to princesses in regards to their movies and merchandise representation. Even though princesses we love, like Tiana, Leia, and Rapunzel, are fictional, there are some princesses that are real, like Princess Diana of Wales. So throw on your favorite princess outfit or tiara and enjoy your favorite princess movie. Happy National Princess Week! Let's go back to Yo's Donnie. Thank you, Sonia. Patriots, the yearbook is currently on sale. Remind your parents to get your yearbook today before they all sell out. All yearbook purchases must be made through myschoolbooks.com. Scholars, this month we will show that we are FSA ready. Here are the upcoming May FSA dates. Every day we will have an activity that is FSA related. Today we want you to record your class singing an FSA song. Show off your singing talent and just have fun. We will highlight the best songs in the morning announcements. Teachers, please share photos and videos to the RBTV OneDrive. Now, let's see what the world is going to be like today with David. Thank you, Yos Donnie. Today's weather in Pembroke Pines, Florida is forecast to be 88 degrees Fahrenheit and mostly sunny. Looks like a great day to put those raincoats away and enjoy the great weather. Now let's go to Sam for the joke of the day. Thank you, David. And here's today's joke of the day. Where does Spider-Man hang out in his free time? The World Wide Web. Now let's go to Solomon for today's birthdays. Thank you, Samuel. That was a great joke. Today's birthday boys and girls are Nathan Wilson, Armando Lara, Abril Villanueva, Malia Smith, Jalen Thompson, and Megan Powell. Happy birthday! Now let's go back to your Donnie. Thank you, Solomon. Patriots, don't forget your pet's expectations. It represents, presents yourself positively, act kindly towards others, treat the school as well respectfully, and succeed at everything. Congrats to Ms. Santi Esteban, Ms. Julian, Ms. Yearwood, Ms. Stone, Mr. Bonilla, Ms. Kyle Libris, Ms. Gilbert, and Ms. Santori. You had the correct answer to last week's riddle, which was... 
A is the brother of B, B is the brother of C, C is the father of D. So how is D related to A? The correct answer to the riddle was D is A's nephew. Now for today's riddle. What is the one thing that everyone can agree it is between heaven and earth? Again, what is one thing everyone can agree it is between heaven and earth? Teachers, please send your answers to pines.renaissance at gmail.com before 10 a.m. in order for response to be reviewed. When else will be announced on the next morning announcements? Everyone on RBTV would like to wish you all a marvelous Monday. And don't forget, remember, reunite, rise. Have a great day.